welcome to another training session on Waltz. In this session, we're going to look at how you map an application to a taxonomy. Specifically in this example, we will look how to map to the business function taxonomy, however, it is the same principle for whichever taxonomy you map to. However, you may find in your organisation different roles are provisioned with different levels of access and who can map this. Please contact your, uh, your support or your, um, your support guys to, to help you with this. Okay, so all you do is you go and find the application that you wish to map. So uh, obviously I'm in a development environment. So just to give you an example, we can go and look at the, the application Ladybird. And where we look is we look under ratings and roadmaps. Um, so again, you just click here, ratings and roadmaps, and you'll see the current application to function mapping. So we can see here we have the business function, process function, a product function, and one for regulation. And so on this, I'll just focus on the on the function. So you can see here it's already been mapped to control data services, data management, and reference data services. So how do we change this? Okay, so what we do is we click here on edit. As I said, you would need to check with your administrator around access rights, around who is allowed to make this change. But assuming that you have the access, um, please click here on edit. And you will see, as I say, that the functions uh, that have been adapted. All you'll do is if, for instance, um, the application no longer explains the control data services, um, you click on the application and we click here on not applicable. And that will remove it. You'll see just here, um, that it's been, been removed. And again, if we also have stopped doing security from a data management perspective, for an example, we click here on the security and we click here on not applicable. Um, and when you have finished, you just click on view and then you will see the changes are now reflected in your live environment. Again, to add, you click here on edit. And say so for instance, we now know we're doing enterprise control we click on enterprise control and if we're doing compliance, we click on compliance services. We can say agree good and we're also doing finance. We can say we're good. Um, what you can also do is you can also add a comment if you wish um, just here. And save those comments down. Again, that can just give a bit of more color around um, what's been mapped and some rationale behind that not essential but it gives you that, that extra functionality if you wish to. Um, one thing to also note is obviously again if you uh, we do have the, the green, amber and red views and um, so if you want to say that your application does something on a um, it does something but it does it poorly again you can use your, your mapping for poor or you can choose the mapping that best suits. Typically uh, people just create the relationship using good but whichever one of the red, amber or green that you, you select this will essentially give you the direct relationship to the application uh, and will obviously um, be mapped up through your through your organization and again when you are finished so again we can click on PNL we can say this is adequate this will be updated and we click here on view and then you'll see those changes I've just done. So the adequate PL and the new compliance services and finance. Again, speak to your administrator uh, regarding access, as uh, there's a potential not all uh, all users will have the access. That fundamentally is how you map to your application to your function. And again, that can be done across any of the the taxonomies within your organisation. So be that uh, in this instance, process, or product, or regulation, or, or obviously the, the business function. I hope that's been useful.